What is going on today guys? We are back for another episode in the leaderboard event. Now, we got a triple ready to go here. So we're going to start right away on getting it all smacked on through. And we're going to be heading in, uh, smelting it down, and we're going to be putting up the water tower today. Uh, it's the last day before summer, so that means the river or creek, whichever you'd like to call it, stream. Oh, it's not a river, it's too small, but... That means that's going to be drying up on us here very soon. So we need to get the water tower put up. That way we can also get rid of the water pumps as well. And everything will run just off the water tower now. Uh, we could also convert to the Glacier Creek if we wanted to. But, oh wait, forgot to put that in. Oops, my bad. Um, we could also convert to the Glacier Creek if we wanted to. But... We're going to be waiting on the Glacier Creek until we get to uh, the Pine Valley claim after this. So, I don't... I know it would be... It would be a better addition to have over the D-Rocker, but... I think it's best for us to wait until we get onto a better claim to actually put that to use. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention before we get too far into the video, is I wanted to give a big, big thank you to everybody who has been contributing to the channel so far. Um, and what I mean by contri contributions is not just with uh, with Mickey giving the DLC pack as a gift to me, but uh, I also want to say thank you to everybody who's liked and subscribed to the channel. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's a big help. Um, you know, it's, I really do appreciate all your guys' support in that way so don't feel like you guys are going unnoticed but uh, like I said it means a lot to me that you guys are subscribing to the channel it means a lot that you guys like the videos share them so like I said I just wanted to give you guys all a big thank you for that um, like I said really means a lot it helps out the it helps out the channel of course and, you know it doesn't even you know as far as contributing to the channel goes, it doesn't even have to be something like a monetary contribution. You know, just the fact that you guys are watching the videos, liking them, subscribing to the channel, sharing the videos. You know, that that's a big contribution in and of itself. So, I'm, I'm very thankful for all you guys doing that. Uh, and again, an even bigger thank you to, to Mickey for gifting the DLC pack to us for the game. That is absolutely amazing. I really do appreciate that as well. So if anybody else wants to contribute to the channel, you know, feel free to like the videos, subscribe to the channel, share share the videos on. Uh, every little bit like that is very much appreciated, so don't feel like you have to make a monetary contribution. Nothing like that is expected of you guys. Don't You guys will never feel pressured into having to do that here. Uh, it's not expected. I just, like I said, I appreciate everybody's support no matter how how you give the support. So, anyway, um, these buckets are are very nice so far. I'm really, you know, I gotta say, with the new DLC equipment, I've been very happily surprised at how good how good our cleanouts have been. I mean. Now I I knew that the gold would be better out of out of it once we got once we got the DLC equipment, but to be honest, I really wasn't expecting as much of a difference on this claim yet. But I mean, these buckets from the gravel pumps are as good or better than what we're getting out of the Nugget Trap, and that kind of actually that actually does surprise me a little bit. Uh, that that I honestly couldn't have expected, but. You know, it, it's great. We're making lots of gold, as you guys can see. This is going to be a, over a 300-ounce clean-out for the triple. So, you know, that's, that's, a, that's a lot of gold for, uh, for what we've done. Because if you consider, if we had the base Tier 3 setup and we were getting a 60-ounce 60, 60 average, we're almost, we're basically doubling that now. Uh, by with what we got, and we don't even have the Glacier Creek yet. 
So once we get to Glacier Creek, it's going to, I'm not exactly sure, but I would say it's going to be easily, you know, 125% boost to overall performance. Whoops. Didn't mean to shuck that in twice. Uh, but yeah, I'd say it's going to be an easy 125% boost to performance. So that that's a hell of a difference. Um, but it does come with the cost as well, so there is also that. But I I gotta say I am really enjoying enjoying the DLC pack. The, this equipment is absolutely great. Uh, like I said having a blast playing with it. So we're gonna dump this bucket in. We're gonna let that run while we go and get our truck because we gotta go to the magnetite facility. And I think our truck is way in the back, but. Let's find out. It's not up here. So, yep, it's way out here in the back. Um, we're just going to unhook this. Now, I broke a trailer wheel just driving across the claim. Um, just going along, uh, coming out to fuel, out the ex fuel up the excavator and pop when a wheel. So, I'll have to fix that at some point. Uh, it's not high on my pri priority list. It's not like, you know, having, having the tire on there is really a big big deal um, it doesn't do doesn't make that much of a difference just you know driving back and forth from the excavator to the to the fuel tank so I'm not I'm not too concerned with that at the moment um, said not not a huge priority for me uh, as far as like breakdowns go but we should we should be all right on breakdowns here coming up pretty soon um, I think we have the fan belt left on on there and then the stuff for the D-Rocker and that's going to be about it for now. Uh, oh yeah, I also replaced the piston in the in the dump truck earlier. Actually, that was uh, right before this clean out. So that finally went out. Now those aren't too expensive and there's no reinforced version of them unless I'm missing it. Uh, I'm not sure why they don't put a reinforced version of, of it in. Because that would be really handy. Because I think... I want to say... It's somewhere around... I don't know if this is even right. But I want to say it's somewhere around like 100 dumps with the dump truck. And then the piston goes out. So, you know, that doesn't... That doesn't last too long. Considering it's 5 to 6 dumps per, per clean out. But anyway... Looks like, looks like we're going to get enough magnetite to do ourselves a nice upgrade. We could do one of the two level threes, or we could finish out the smelting amount one. So we're going to head to the blacksmith, and we'll take a look once we get there. All right, guys, here we are at the blacksmith. So we do have quite a bit of gold on us. Uh, it's well over a 100-ounce average for us. So we could either do the smelting amount upgrade here. We could do the time upgrade. Oh, no, we can't. Oh, I thought those were 52 something. Oh, my bad. Uh, so I guess we are doing the smelting amount one this time, which which works out just fine anyway. Um, now we need to account for 30% of the 378 ounces. So 30% is gonna roughly be, you know, I'm just gonna round it up. Uh, well, let's see, we started out with, uh, let's see. Sorry, math is hard at the moment. 30% uh, of that would be, let me see, about 100 and 115, 112 ounces. So, something like that if my numbers are right. Um, so we can smelt down quite a bit. Uh, we just, we're just going to leave 120 20 left. Obviously, that's well over what we need but you know like i said i always like to be on the safe side i always like to leave plenty for the least amount um and right now it's not like we we need to make sure we have x amount of money uh on us at the moment because until we go to to swap claims we're not going to need we're not going to need uh every last bit of money we can get our hands on so let's melt down that'll do Close enough. We'll save 122 on there. Um, again, my numbers aren't perfect, but you know it's close enough for what we need. Uh, that'll give us plenty of cash to put up the water tower. 
and it should give us a couple days, either two or three days worth of worth of rent. So more than plenty to to keep us going. Uh, the water tower is going to cost one hundred fifty thousand to put up, and you know somewhere around twenty grand to fill the fill the tank with water. So it's not like we we need uh, an absolutely ton of money. Um, but we also got to account for, like I said, a couple days worth of worth of rent and worker payments. So, and we'll probably we'll probably be needing parts for the D rocker here very soon. Uh, we already have the the uh, the hopper fan um, that reinforced fan thing for it, or the fan belt rather, not the fan itself. Uh, but anyway. Ooh, the gold went up. 1224. That's beautiful. Oh yeah. A little over three hundred thousand dollars is what we got out of this clean out. And like I said, we have, you know, X amount of extra gold that is gonna be there for the for the next time. So let's head on back out to the claim. We're gonna get ourselves, like I said, we're gonna get ourselves the water tower put up and get that filled right up, swap everything over so we can run everything off of that now and get rid of those water pumps. Uh, the water pumps are great. I love the diesel water pumps. I don't know why the electric water pump blows through the through the motors so often, but the diesel pump, I haven't had to replace that. We'll actually check uh, the durability of the, of the motor in that once we get back out there, but I'd say for sure the one is over 50%, and the other one's gotta be at least a third or more left of it. I know those don't those don't wear out very fast in in the diesel water pump, but for some reason the electric water pump will will spit out a motor in like a little over an in-game day. I mean, it's it's horrible. Uh, so I'm glad one of you guys last season, I believe it was, uh, let me know that the diesel water pump was you know just that much better. So it's great great change um i'm so much happier now that we got that it's a lot uh a lot better a lot less repairs for sure so that is a huge help but we'll check the we'll check the durability of those and just see how how they're doing here um like i said those should be perfectly fine yet but we're just gonna check just for just for fun here all right so the motor's on this side um, I thought, where is it? Where's the piece? Oh, wait. What's that thing? Oh, that's, the pipe is still at 76%, so that's not bad at all, to be honest. Where's the other piece we need to inspect here? Um, I can never, can never find it on here. Well, anyway. That's 76% for the pipe, and this one is at, oh, that's at 13. Wow, so that was actually about to go. Oh, huh, well, glad we, glad we popped that sucker on out of there now. But we're going to yank this hose here, and we're going to drag it all the way over to the water tower now. So now, these hoses say they go up to like 50 feet. That's, that's a lie. They go over 100 uh, before they actually won't won't pull water through so there is you know it's absolutely well whoops I wanted to grab the hose first but okay so it's roughly 15 grand to fill the tower up completely that's actually I think it isn't even 15 grand to fill it so anyway you put that on like that and then you just give that wheel a spin and then when you're ready to run water you can just uh, plug your stuff into it. So we'll also be plugging uh, this one into it now as well, which I think we actually I think we will come up just fine on that. So as you can see, water is flowing through that now. Um, when I'm not using it, I always just pop that out, uh, and then when I go to do my cleanouts, I pop the two out on this side and just leave that one on there. So great, we got our water tower up and going. Now after after the midnight reset, uh, one of the next, either the next day in-game or the day after that Crick stream, 
river, whichever you'd like to call it, will run dry. Uh, let's go ahead and check out workers. I haven't checked them out in a while. We probably have one ready to upgrade. Um, at least rather we should have one ready to upgrade. Uh, no new ones awaiting. This guy got attacked by the bear. Um, and yeah, here we go. Upgrade this guy and only 1500 upgrades. Like I said, very, very easy way to get mechanics. Uh, yes, it does take a little bit of time, but at the same time, you know, they're very cheap. So I think it's well worth it in the long run. Plus you use them anyway. So everybody else is doing just fine. So that's going to do it for this video. Next video, hopefully we can get a little bit bigger of a clean out in. Uh, again, not going to guarantee anything, but hopefully at least four. But, you know, three at the minimum for sure. So anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate all your guys' support. I appreciate all the subs, likes, shares. Everything you guys do for the channel is very much appreciated. So thank you guys so much for that. Uh, if you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you guys take the time to smash that like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel and trigger those notification bells. That way you guys never miss out when I post up a video. So again, thank you guys so much for being here. And let's check out how much. 352 ounces for the cleanup. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. 105 ounces in uh in rental yikes but anyway thank you guys so much for being here and we'll catch you guys for the next one